Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Flix here. Welcome to Scenarios. This is where we look at things in the NBA that are never going to happen, but we're just kind of wondering what if. And be sure to like this video because next episode we are going to look at what would happen if Chris Bosh would have signed with the Houston Rockets. Because uh, he was going to do that before we got offered a ton of money by the Miami Heat to uh, you know stay in Miami. Now this episode I can actually wear my Detroit Pistons hat proudly because we are looking at the actual Detroit Pistons here. And what would happen if Carmelo Anthony was drafted back in 2003 instead of the notorious Darko Milicic? Damn Darko. Every Detroit Pistons fan, most worst memory of all time. Although, you know, the thing about Melo here is that, I mean, back in the day, you know, 2003, 2004, that's also the same. Damn, this guy has averaged at least 20 points per game his whole entire career. I mean, that's scoring. That's efficient, guys. Um, But... You know, that was also the year that the Pistons had Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Rasheed Wallace, Ben Wallace, and went on to win the championship in 2003-2004, um, or it might have been 2004-2005, you know, one of those seasons right there, you know, beating the Lakers in the uh, NBA Finals. So, you know, would Carmelo Anthony have affected that? Would he have actually helped that team? I don't really know. I mean, looking back at it, I'm kind of happy we did not get mellow because we did end up winning a championship. And we did end up rolling with that team that gave me a lot of good memories as a huge uh, Detroit Pistons fan. Um, but also another thing we got to look at here is that, you know, we didn't, we have Melo on this team. Who knows if he would still be on this team right now? I don't really know. Probably not. Um, unless they would have, like, won a lot of games or whatnot. But uh, also, would they have gotten Drummond or Reggie Jackson? I don't really know. So I don't really mess with the roster all that much here. Um, I definitely think Melo would help this team now because they don't really have that score out there. They don't really have that go-to guy. Um, outside of Andre Drummond, he's more of an inside presence. As far as the perimeter goes, though, you know, some games it's Reggie Jackson, some games it's KCP, um, some games it's Marcus Morris, or Stanley Johnson's also been playing really well lately. Um, but I definitely think, you know, Melo would help out any team to some extent, as long as he gets into the mindset of a team, you know, being a team player, which is kind of an issue he's had in prior years. Um, but let's go ahead and simulate this season, see how we do out there. And... You know, I'm expecting probably a four or five seed with this team. That's probably that's probably a good bet right there. Probably a five seed. So let's simulate uh, through date and see how we do. See how the Pistons do out there. Maybe they won't even make playoffs. Maybe Melo will just mess up the whole entire chemistry of that team. I don't really know. But I don't know. Like Melo is, I, I can't really, I don't really know if you call him a disappointing career because he's done a lot of good, uh, he's had a lot of good seasons and whatnot. But he's kind of, uh, he kind of put him up there with like a Trace and McGrady type player who was an amazing basketball player just never really did much in the playoffs you know so i kind of put him up there with that um whether he's on the knicks in the long term i don't really know what you nick fans out there you guys think that Melo's going to be there for the long term or do you think he's going to end up going somewhere else um i would look to see him on the bulls you know him and jimmy buckus maybe even derrick rose that would be pretty nice to see but i don't really know and uh it's looking like you know we're kind of having a little bit of chemistry issues here we're not really winning a lot of games we're about a 500 team six seed you know i guess fifth, uh you know fourth or fifth so Maybe we'll win a few more games and get up there. Maybe we'll lose a few games and go down somewhere. I don't really know. Um, but Melo is definitely a game-changing type player who is going to do, you know, who, who could really help any team out uh, to an extent. Um, but whether he, if he's the number one option, I don't really see a team winning a championship like that. Now you put him as like a second option, then I think a lot of good things happen. We actually saw that last episode with Steph Curry when we put him on the New York Knicks. And uh, they end up winning the championship. So that was actually proven already. Be sure to check out that episode, by the way, my friends. And like always, leave in the comment section below your suggestions for other scenarios you guys want to see. I try my best to get back to you guys and, you know, uh, do everything that you guys want to see. Of course, I can only do one at a time, though. Um, okay, so we actually have won a few games here. Now we're up in the third seed. So that's pretty big for the Detroit Pistons. I mean, man, we were... Pistons fancies, they would just die to make the playoffs, you know? So uh, taking a third or fourth seed, we'd be definitely be happy with that. Um... But Melo, you know, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see what would have happened what would have happened if he would have got drafted by that team. But like I said, man, he probably would have started over Tayshawn Prince, who ended up having that uh, game-winning block against Reggie Miller back in the playoffs. You all know about that block. If you don't, you gotta check it out, man. One of the sickest blocks of one of my favorite players of all time, Reggie Miller. And uh, I don't know. So I guess in hindsight, I'm happy they did not draft Melo. But at the same time, you know. Maybe that would have made us win like three or four championships. Who would have know? Who, who who really knows? And uh, okay, Jaleel actually won Rookie of the Year, which is different than usual. Tim Duncan, they keep on putting him as a six man. So last two episodes, Tim Duncan's actually got the Six Man of the Year award, which is crazy because that's usually uh, Josh Smith. And uh, okay, Mason probably most improved player. That's new. That's new. So let's see if Melo or Andre Drummond made any of the uh, teams here. That'd be all first team. Nope. Uh, okay, Carmelo did make the NBA second team. Oh, no Andre Drummond, man. They, they, give that, they give that guy no respect on this game at all. No respect. 
and we made the playoffs as a four seed. So let's go ahead and check out the statistics real quick here. Uh, player stats, Melo averaged about 22 points a game. So, you know, his typical scoring self. And uh, shot 46%. Didn't really sh shoot all that well from three. You know, 35%. Not bad. Not great, though. Um, Andre Drummond, 15 points and 15 rebounds. So grabbing them rebounds like he does. Got some blocks. Ilya Sova actually our third leading scorer, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Reggie Jackson, also no respect by the 2K developers. This guy's been crazy this season for us. Um, but still, like I said, though, no respect. So the stats, nothing too crazy. Melo out leading scoring, kind of what I expected. Um... And we end up getting a four seed. So let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs. See how we do here. We're going up against the Boston Celtics, who are also a very good, solid team. Uh, so simulate current round. Hopefully we can beat the Boston Celtics. And, okay, it looks like we beat them in game seven. Uh, I do not expect to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Maybe we will, but not expecting that. I expect this to be our exit right here. Simulate current round. Maybe they'll surprise us. All right, so we get eliminated in game seven against the Cleveland Cavaliers, which still isn't bad. Um, but it's still kind of attuned to Carmelo Anthony's career of never really being able to go that far into the playoffs. So, you know, it seems like whether he's a Nick, a Nugget, or a Piston, that's still going to happen. I mean, he was our number one option out there. So, I don't know. I think Melo needs to go on a team where he can be like a second, third, not really a third option, maybe later in his career. But a second option is definitely more plausible for Melo, and he can get into that team concept. I think that would benefit any team. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Scenarios. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And peace out, my friends.